morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. And good morning. It's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Yes, all you fine folks that celebrate Easter, we are celebrating it right here in Las Vegas as well. And Passover this week as well. That's right. But right now, we are going down to the Strip. We sure are. We had such a good reaction to our buffet uh, video a couple weeks ago over at the Palms. We decided to do it again. And we decided we might as well spend a little more money on this might one. Might as well spend twice as much money. Why <laughs> yeah, not? Might as well go full blow on this one. We're going down to the win. This buffet is amazing. You're going to love it. All right. Get ready because this adventure starts right now. It's another chilly, blustery spring morning in Las Vegas. And let me tell you something, my friends. We have had way too many of those this year, but it does feel like a good day to indulge in a big breakfast buffet. Today, we are heading over there to the Wynn. Here we are on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Sands Avenue, and boy, there is a lot to see and do in every direction. What do you think? You could spend your whole vacation right here, no Uber needed. On the northeast corner, this shiny copper-colored resort is our destination. And get this, it's celebrating its 18th birthday. When Las Vegas opened in April of 2005 at a cost of $2.7 billion, and at the time, it was the most expensive resort ever built. Unlike other Steve Wynn built properties, the Wynn doesn't have a free attraction out front, just the opposite. That 100 foot mountain is meant to conceal, evoke curiosity, and lure you inside. It cost $130 million to build, with waterfalls tumbling 100 feet from the top and 1,500 trees, many relocated from the desert in golf course. All right, then, let's go inside and check it out. From the boulevard, we step into the Wynn Esplanade, a 76,000 square foot retail area with storefronts from some of the most exclusive brands in the world, and filled with bright natural light thanks to an abundance of skylights. Wynn has been awarded the AAA Five Diamond and Forbes Five Star Awards numerous times over the years and Condé Nast Traveler named it the best hotel property in Las Vegas just a few years back. Now that, my friends, is some high praise. It's tradition that we stroll through the atrium whenever we are here, and that, of course, works out because we're just a tiny bit early for our buffet reservation. It was, of course, inspired by another wind creation, the Bellagio Conservatory. The flowers are changed out regularly, and the display right now is particularly appealing with sweeping tiers of spring blooms. The flower choices are kind of unusual as well. Ranunculus, oversized mums, azalea, and tall orchids in a rainbow of colors. Big thumbs up to this beautiful arrangement. And of course, the carousel is always as charming as ever. The Wynn Buffet has been here since the resort opened and is one of the most popular in Las Vegas. It was first to announce that it was reopening after the 2020 shutdowns, but ended up closing later that year for a makeover. What you see here, this bright garden-inspired space, debuted in July of 2021. We just love being among the first ones to arrive at a buffet, and I have to confess, we're more than a little intrigued by what we're going to see inside right here. Good morning. I am at the Wim Buffet today, and I am so glad you're with me. Honestly, I wish you were really with me. I have never been here before, neither has Dale. When they walk you in, you walk for miles. This place goes back and back and back and back. It is huge in here. And when you get to the food stations, your jaw drops. I cannot wait to show you everything that you're going to see at this amazing buffet. Yes, it cost me $50. Is it worth it? 
We shall see. I'll tell you what, I got here first thing this morning, eight o'clock. I had one of the earliest reservations, so that means everything is beautiful and pristine that you're about to see. From the moment you enter, you feel as if you're in a sunny garden. There are many dining rooms here at the buffet, giving it a more cozy and intimate feeling than one with a larger open space. The red and gold color scheme is inviting and cheerful, and we are really big fans of the tufted bench seating. The 2021 redesign was intended to make the buffet as upscale as a fine dining restaurant, and it certainly is. The most spectacular touch is this, the eight royal palms brought in from South Florida in the atrium. <laughs> All I can say is wow. For today's breakfast, Paula booked prepaid priority seating through the Wynn website, and that landed her in this room, just steps from the food stations. In all, the Wynn Buffet has 16 live action cooking stations and the food is prepared in small batch quantities throughout the day. There are 120 dishes to choose from and that doesn't count desserts. Speaking of desserts, all the goodies are to be had behind this tower of sweets and the peacock whose tail is decorated with spoons. <laughs> now there's a little bit of whimsy just for you. The carved meat station gets the center spot and isn't it visually appealing with all the roasted vegetables? Here you'll find tri-tip, turkey, ham, sausage and more. The selection of more traditional breakfast items is mind-boggling, with many to grab in single-serve dishes. The Eggs Benedict Station offers both the classic and a variation made with Maine lobster. You can have an omelet made to order. or order yourself some fresh made pancakes. I already grabbed my first, I'll say course on breakfast. And as always, I love to start with a little bit of fruit and I couldn't resist that blueberry uh, Danish there. I love Danish. And then I went to kind of the traditional station and I got some eggs, bacon, sausage, and a couple of other fun things that we're gonna try together. So let's get started on breakfast, round one. All right, starting with scrambled eggs. Don't I always start with scrambled eggs? By the way, they do make omelets, they do make pancakes. I was tempted to have an omelet, but I don't know if I have time. I have too much to sample. Scrambled egg. So of course they got cold already. No surprise there, it's impossible to keep things hot, especially when I'm jabbering to you. But they're good, they're very creamy. Mm. Just like when I went to the AYCE buffet, they must put some cream in these, they're very creamy. I like them. Now we have a big old sausage link. I cut a piece off, so let me, these are well done. I love that, let me try that. Thumbs up, that's very good sausage. Big fan, mm. good seasoning on that. I have a couple of slices of bacon. I'll try that. That's good. Just bacon. Nothing remarkable about it. Grab my napkin. <laughs> I should have done that first. All right. A couple of unusual things that were on the kind of the American section. We have what they call their hash brown and uh show you a picture of that in the overhead but basically it looks a very creamy square looking thing the hash brown and uh not not the traditional shredded hash browns you think of it's like a it's almost like a a square cake i think i taste sour cream has a real a little bite to it. I think that is sour cream. Not sure I'm crazy about that. Okay. 
Moving on. We also have some biscuits and gravy. I never actually order biscuits and gravy when I go out to breakfast, but this looks like a little bit of a uh, a very flaky, flaky biscuit. Check that out, gravy. That's like a buttery croissant. Wow, that's really, really good. The gravy is uh, mild. It's got some, I think it's got, uh, I'm not sure what's in it. Maybe corned beef, maybe sausage. Um, very mild flavor though, but the, the biscuit is amazing. I'm a big fan. I'll have another little bite of that biscuit. It's messy. Over here. <clears throat> I like that. I like any flaky pastry. That's good. And then the last thing on my plate there's something called a Bananas Foster Cinnamon Roll. Now, how amazing does that sound? And they're in these individual serving uh, containers. So, all right, I have to show you this. Look at that. It's a beautiful cinnamon roll. It's very, very easy to cut, which means it must be super tender. That is fabulous. Oh my gosh, who wants bacon and eggs when you can eat this for breakfast? Oh, my favorite thing on the plate so far, bananas, foster cinnamon roll, don't miss it. When Buffet makes fruit juices fresh every day and offers a mouth-watering selection of fresh fruit. The charcuterie counter displays an abundance of meats, pastries, and cheeses. This spread makes us want to come back again for lunch. Several freshly dressed salads are available, including Classic Caesar. And if it's too early for salad, there are overnight oats, yogurt, and all the fixings for a great healthy start. Let's take a little break from some of the heavy breakfast stuff and have a little bit of the fruit. I thought the fruit and the healthy section was beautifully arranged and very enticing. And I'm a big, big fan of berries. Love berries. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Have to give them props. Those are some big blackberries, aren't they? Mm. Now, there's something on the fruit bar that I truly do not know what this is. What do you think? It's quite pretty, isn't it? I have to take a little slice of it and see what it tastes like. It's something very exotic. Hmm. Before we post this vlog, I'll tell you what it is. It's called Carambola or star fruit. It grows on a tree native to Southeast Asia and is crunchy, juicy, and tart. It's cucumbery. It's not sweet. It's very refreshing, very cooling. Huh. My interest is peaked. Stay tuned on that. Okay, we have a beautiful piece of watermelon, and you know what? I'm just gonna bite it. Ripe sweet watermelon in March. Big plus on that. Oh, that's yummy. And Take a little sweet treat. There are so many desserts and things. We'll be seeing those later, but like I said, I couldn't resist this. I'm gonna have a bite. It's good. Not remarkable, but, but good. There are too many other choices. I don't think I'll finish that. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna go get some more fun stuff around you. Taking a look at a few more food stations, these are the starches and the accompaniments. Every one of these items in the Latin area looks delicious and fresh. And who doesn't love pizza for breakfast? The seafood selection at this buffet is mind-boggling, especially considering it's 8 in the morning. There's gumbo, risotto, 
Or how about a basket of calamari for one? When the buffet reopened in 2021, it was with a more eclectic and international menu featuring food items from South Asia and the South Pacific, since many Wynn guests are from those regions. The presentation of these dishes is nothing short of exquisite. Well, hello, back for round two. I went around and got some unusual stuff this time. Uh, they do have English breakfast tea and they actually gave me two, one to take home. All right, check out this plate of amazing goodness. It's kind of some international stuff. Plus I went to the carving station tell you the truth, I don't think I can handle some of these meats at 8 in the morning, but I can certainly handle some honey glazed ham. So let's start with that. Take a little bite of honey glazed ham. I'll tell you what, they're so nice here. Everybody, super friendly, nice. They don't mind my camera. They're nice. Mm. Perfect. That is perfect ham. Oh, give me a bun, put that on a sandwich. I am good. Um, I think this is a four cheese mac and cheese with peas. Oh my gosh, I love macaroni and peas together. So let me take a big old fork full of that. Mm. Wonder what the cheeses are, that's unusual. Unusual flavor. Mm. Unfortunately, it got cold. It's almost like macaroni salad, but it's good. Now, we also have some fingerling potatoes. I'm a huge fan with leeks. I'm a huge fan of them too. Have a bite. Big plus, like the fingerling potatoes a lot. Do you cook with those? Oh my gosh, they're so easy. Toss them with olive oil, throw them in the oven. They're great. Yeah. Yummy. All right, next up, I think it's spicy Thai beef with basil. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It actually has green beans in it. This looks yummy. Mm. I was hoping it wasn't too spicy since it's breakfast. It burns on the back of the throat. Oh, and you know what? When you swallow it, it burns even more. Really good flavor though. Love the green bean. It also has a little piece of red pepper in there. That's really good. I like that. Now, this is a piece of something called banana roast chicken. It's hard to remember all the uh, exact names, but we'll make sure we put captions so you know what these are in case you want to try them. Banana baked chicken, maybe? Anyway, it looks like uh, thigh meat, dark meat. That looks really good. It's a, it's a barbecue treatment, but very light barbecue. I like that, that's really good. Very tender, very tender. And then the last thing, this has chorizo sausage. And how fun does that look? Plus, I love these individual servings where you just pick up the thing and take it with you. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to love this. Looks like it has uh, sausage, scrambled egg, and I'm not sure. You know what? It's just us. I'm just going to take a bite. That is yummy. That is really yummy. Oh, big thumbs up on that one. I'm gonna take some more bites, but off camera. All right, I will be back for round three and you can count on something sweet being in that one. Saving the best for last, here is the dessert station. Rows of beautifully arranged individual servings of sweet treats. And they'll even make you a crepe with your choice of filling.
Around the corner is one of the coolest things in here, the ice cream wheel. <laughs> Tell you what, it makes me want a Sunday right now. Plus, they have all the most colorful toppings. At this counter, you'll find an array of even more baked goods, including personalized wind donuts. Now that looks like red velvet cheesecake. As soon as you're done, I'll have one, please. Back for round three, getting a little full. And no, I don't eat everything on the plates, but I'm trying to do them justice, so I eat a few bites. All right, dessert. Oh my goodness, I had to do five things, and even then I had to walk away because there's too many beautiful, beautiful choices. I have to say, it's spectacular in here. There, I just said it. All right, so there's a mousse to get started. How's that? Look how pretty that is. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like maybe mango on the top, strawberry on the bottom. I don't know. I got a little spoon here. Take my little candy off. Take a bite. <laughs> it is mango. Oh. Perfect thing to start with. It is light as air. This is wonderful. Go down to the bottom layer. Look at that. Wow. That is heavenly. Heavenly for breakfast. Heavenly any time of day. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Wow. Mm. Thumbs up on that. Now, we also have, this is the most fun thing on the plate. Check that out. <laughs> it's a wind donut. It's got gold flecks on it. How fun. All right, let me see if I can take a bite of this without getting it all over. No, I won't because it's all gooey. It's going to get all over my face. So be it. Well, sprinkles are crispy. Mm. It's a it's a traditional donut, a la Krispy Kreme, that kind of a donut. Really sweet vanilla icing. Oh, that is quite yummy. I will have more of that. That's a promise. Going around my plate, I have one of Dale's absolute favorites: a big, fat oatmeal raisin cookie take a bite of this this would be so good with a cup of coffee or tea take a bite of that I'm always interested how people flavor their oatmeal raisin cookies whether they use cinnamon nutmeg I'm not sure I taste either one cinnamon or nutmeg it's very it's very hearty Soft inside, crispy on the outside. That's a good cookie. All right, next up. Look how cute. It's a baby creme brulee. Creme brulee is also something that I would never consider having for breakfast, but when at the wind, do what the people at the wind do. Ooh, it actually breaks. Look at how it breaks that lovely crust. Oh. Creme brulee is one of those treats that we hardly ever allow ourselves to have. And I don't know why. It is heavenly good. Again, just like the mousse. Super light, really delicious. Oh. Very good choice. Delicious creme brulee. Mm. All right. A little sip of tea before I move on. Sweetness overload. And last but never least, a chocolate lava cake. Look at the size of that. It's so tiny. I think it's going to be maybe, you know, three bites. But let me see if there's, in fact, lava inside. Um, hmm. Yes, it broke apart, kind of made a mess, but it is gooey inside. Oh, is that rich? That is beyond beyond rich look how it it just crumbles when you cut it see that oh that is the deepest darkest 
richest chocolate flavor I can't even tell you it's uh it's not sweet it's just a rich rich chocolate flavor wow that kind of packs a wallop that's amazing did I sample everything I think I did all right you guys forgive me I'm gonna cut the camera off I'm gonna finish my dessert and my tea thank you so much for coming with me to the fabulous win buffet yes it's fifty dollars yes it's fan Fantastic. <laughs> See you later. When Buffet is open seven days a week and gets an A-plus from us all the way around. My friends, when you're in town, you owe it to yourself to indulge at least once. I have to ask Dale, what did you think of that buffet? It looked absolutely amazing. I'll tell you, if it wasn't so early in the morning, I'd be going down with you all the time. I know there are a lot of things on the carving station that Dale would have if I were, if I didn't have them, if we went for lunch, we need to go because you have to try the tri-tip. The tri-tip, and I'll tell you what, that pile of shrimp was calling my name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat shrimp, so I, yeah, you can have my portion. There were so many things on there that I, I would have eaten. But Chris, here's the problem: you pay all that kind of money, you ac absolutely cannot get your. I don't know if you can eat enough to do it. They give you two hours, so you have to pace yourself, and I think you should take the two hours. Maybe that's the trick. I'll tell you what. I went around real quick and filmed all the stations before all the people came because I wanted you to see them in their pristine state. So then I'm looking at the footage later, I'm going, oh my gosh, there's 25 things I didn't sample that I would have loved to sample. Let, <laughs> let me tell you something. We went to a wedding over the weekend. It was a, a fa family from uh, England that, that are dear friends of ours, and we were very in, glad to be invited we to it. We were very honored. Yeah. But the, the uh, reception was small bites. It was. So I think the trick is eat a little bit of a lot of things. And that's the trick to actually get your what, money's worth. What they did buffet. at the wedding is they did stretch it out for two hours, but they it were was. small bites and everybody got, you know, a little bit of everything, didn't they? And it, it was actually delightful. It was yeah. a great way to do it. So I think that's the trick to getting your $50 worth at the Win Buffet. All right. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else you want to tell these nice people? Miss Paula. Actually, I have two things. Um, just a quick apology. I am so behind in life that I am not able to answer your comments in YouTube anymore, and I feel so bad about that. Um, I read them all. I make sure Dale sees a lot of the, just the very complimentary, <laughs> I, really nice ones, yeah. and uh, we're very appreciative of them. Um, just make sure that you know that we are reading them. And secondly, we are this close to 30,000 subscribers. That's a big deal in YouTube world. Tell your family, tell your friends. We need to get up to that 30,000, right? Yeah, we need a 30K. Help us out. All right, hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. everybody.